Just the thought of standing on the podium in Beijing and watching the Union Jack go up, that's kind of what drives me. At the tender age of just four years old, guided by his dad, a young Paul begins his love affair with the water. On the reservoirs of Rotherham, he learns his craft before turning professional in 1996. Within four years, he captures his first major medal. Then in September 2000, he finds himself at the Sydney Olympics as training partner to the mercurial talents of Ben Ainsley. A glimpse of the ultimate prize is enough to make Paul believe that his day would come four years later off the coast of Greece. 29 major competitions follow in the lead up to Athens. Nine golds, three silvers and eight bronze medals establish Paul Goodison as one of the main contenders for the crown. Would it be a new name and a new face at the top of British and world laser sailing? Going into the 2004 games, the consistency seems to pay off with eight top ten finishes in the gruelling 11 race series. But on that final day, when all should be golden, the darkness of fourth place envelops Paul Goodison, agonisingly missing out on a medal by just a single point. And the boy who started sailing age four almost walks away from the sport he loves so much. The last place in the world I wanted to finish last time, just absolutely distraught. Absolute agony in Athens. As a mother, um, his dad was there, we said, well son, there are only three in front of you in Athens and 38 behind you. I was in two minds whether to carry on, but figured I've got to put something right. Qingdao would be one of the most unpredictable venues in Olympic history. Tricky tides and light winds lead Paul to streamline by losing 10 kilos. But the harsh fitness regime almost proves disastrous, as with just a year to go, he falls off his bike. I broke my wrist and I had to have surgery and try and put a, put a pin in my hand. It's quite a big decision whether to go under the knife and have the operation done, but with going under the knife, there was a definite time scale of how long things would be before I could be back in training. Still, it's the mental pain of Athens and not the aching arm that drives the Sheffield United fan up and out of bed every day for that final year of preparation. By the time he arrives in China, Paul is one of only two sailors to be unbeaten on the Olympic course. It's a tough start for everyone, but as the week progresses, Paul's parents realise their son could medal in Qingdao. On the final day, after a slow tactical medal race, their son had done it. This is his moment. Gold in Beijing. There's his mother. That's my boy. Cynthia is here to see him. You are the Olympic champion. How yes. sweet do those words sound? Oh, it's just absolutely amazing. It feels unbelievable right now. I think it's going to take a while to sink in, but wow, amazing. It's absolutely wonderful. Relief and reward for Paul, his whole family, and Great Britain. The thing about Goody is that the whole squad were up and behind him big time. I mean, here's a man who's really put in the hours and put in the effort and put in the commitment and is, is totally devoted to his sport. You know, he deserves everything. Paul Goodison was given a hero's welcome, not only by his childhood sailing club, but also by his beloved football team, Sheffield United. The British champion, the European champion, the world champion, the Olympic champion. And now, having taken everyone on such a journey, Great Britain wants to know, is there one more chapter in this incredible story? And is it Weymouth 2012? With London just around the corner, it's pretty hard to think that it's over. It'd be just an amazing opportunity to try and represent Britain at the Olympics in England. So uh, we'll just see what happens.